All right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So today I have some samples of metal, and we're going to test to see how these act under low temperatures, to see uh, what it's going to take for me to build a gun that can shoot bullets that are frozen, frozen down to liquid nitrogen temperatures. Now, in the movies they show that steel gets brittle when it gets cold, so it'd be a problem if the gun fired and exploded because the metal was uh, brittle and fractures easily. So I'm going to test several different types of material, and uh, see which one holds up the best. The first test we're going to do is whack them with a hammer uh, on the anvil warm so we can prove that they don't shatter. So here is a piece of a uh, hard facing rod. This is high carbon steel. This is uh, bronze. Here's some aluminum. Nothing. And some uh, 7018 or uh, mild steel. There it goes. No problem. Let's stick them in the liquid nitrogen. And I see how they react then. Yep. All right. Under the nitrogen. I got them cool, cooled down to liquid nitrogen temperatures. Let's see what happens when I hit this with a hammer. This is the hard facing rod. It still bends and deforms pretty well, actually. Let's put that back in the nitrogen, cool it off. Try the 7018. Seems to bend okay. Deform. Didn't shatter anything. Put that away. Let's try the bronze. Nothing. Okay. And the aluminum. Oh wow. The aluminum just shattered. Look at that. There's nothing left of it. <laughs> Not at all. That, that's really weak. Look at that. <laughs> so this was a piece of aluminum welding rod. So the alloy might be a little bit different what you got in your pop cans, but the aluminum sure didn't hold up very well, did it? Oh, it's shattered. Look at that. So it doesn't bend very well. <laughs> Look at the end of that. It's all broken like it was a piece of glass. Okay. Let's try the 7018. That broke too. Look at that. Hold it. Pieces. What? I'm trying to focus. Yeah, look at that. <sighs> Let's try the bronze. Hey, yeah, the bronze seemed to do okay. Look at it. was able to bend okay. Didn't shatter. Bronze is looking good. I think the bronze is probably going to do the best then. Because even at the cold temperatures, it didn't break. Never mind. <laughs> 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 All right. So that's interesting. So it didn't bend very well, but it was able to take the impact. Here's a stainless steel spoon. Let's see if that'll handle the liquid nitrogen. Here's the spoon, cold. Look at that, it shattered too. See? So not even stainless can handle it. I'm sure this isn't very good stainless. Since the bronze did so well, let's try a piece of brass. Okay. Let's see if it'll bend. Yeah, brass is, yeah, brass seems to be doing pretty good. Yeah, it's even better than bronze, I think. I think I can bend that. Let's try a piece of lead. Okay, lead seems to smash and bend fairly okay. Let's cool that back off. All right, let's see how it'll end here. You know, bend. You know, lead seems to do pretty okay. Look at that. Let's uh, cool it off again. Yeah, it's definitely harder, but I think... All right, so here's a piece of copper pipe. Let's stick this in the nitrogen. <laughs> Look at that, shooting the nitrogen out of it. <laughs> All right, let's whack it and see if it'll shatter. Yeah, the copper did pretty well, actually. See how it just bent? Mm. 
Yeah, I'd say the copper alloys are probably going to do best. Let's try this piece of pipe and see if it'll break. Oh yep, yeah, that shattered like glass. Look at that. Now I know you guys are all waiting for it. Let's see if we can break the chain by getting it cold. Alright, here's the chain. Cooled down liquid nitrogen. Let's see if it'll break. Look at that, it actually worked. It actually broke that link. It seems that from my experiments, the cold makes it so that it can't bend almost at all. So it basically makes it harder. But one thing I know for sure is that I'm not going to be able to cool off a regular gun and then fire it that way. It's going to have to be made out of some sort of copper-based alloy. Uh, the brass and bronze seem to do pretty well, a lot better than the steels. Uh, pure copper looks like it does best out of anything, but uh, pure copper is kind of hard to cast and work with, so I might have to put a little bit of zinc in it. So, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.